I know you can't see me, but hello, I am Katana, the lightning cat. Right, come on. It's fucking cold. Why did I let it get so cold? <coughs> Give me a minute. Just hang on right there. Jeez, don't jump up in front of my feet when I'm moving, okay? take to the magnet to the side of my head. It actually does help. They all told me together because I'm falling the fuck apart. In more ways than just physical. energy together and my mind not that it was ever together to begin with right now. The power bill is going to be fucking tits up, man. It really is. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's, it's freaking cold right now. <clears throat> I'm going to turn the, the heater on the high. Whew. Keep it pointed at me. It's that freaking cold. <sighs> okay, yeah, this this is turned on. That gets turned on. dream. I don't remember it. Oh, 
slept all day and I still feel tired. Why? What the heck? No, belt, I'm not kidding. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me check. Eight hours ago, I was asleep, dude. No, wait, four hours ago, I was... Huh? You went offline eight hours ago, and you sent me a message four hours ago? <clears throat> That don't make no sense. Crazy bastard. The situation that I'm in is completely fucked, everybody. <clears throat> stripped of your powers. Who do you think got you kicked out of the continuum? Who remembers that? Q pops in on Q in the shuttle when he's, he's a lumpen, imperfect human being. <laughs> he looks at his clothes and says, ugh, what a dreadful color. Wasn't wrong. That is a dreadful color. Okay, stuff's turned on. Things are happening. <clears throat> to wait for belt to come. What? Did I run over your tail? I told you not to sit so close to the, the wheels on the chair. You just keep sitting close. You're right up underneath my feet here. It's crazy. <coughs> I had a dream. I don't remember it. Bang. numbers, no not that number, that number, this number, okay, whoops, punched in the wrong one, hey, your tail knocked over my thing, can you not do that? It says something new on my Discord login. It says preparing for team bat fight. Battle fight, whatever. <laughs> it's all the same to me. Just synonyms, man. The English language, man. We need concise, definitive terms instead of ambiguity in the English language. American English is full of ambiguity. Synonyms are ambiguous because one word having the same freaking meaning of another word. <clears throat> oh, now it says buffing before the raid. Fucking synonyms, man. Words need one clear defined meaning. 
We don't need multiple words having the same meaning or similar meaning. Same with rules, <clears throat> YouTube. All your ambiguity has just pissed off everybody. Now everybody's copying your ambiguity. Oh, now it says constructing additional pylons. rules need to be clear and defined. None of this ready fire aim bullshit. <clears throat> it's fucking annoying. It's pain in the butt. Pain in everyone's ass. Okay, yeah, I think I've sat here not saying things long enough, so blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, let me talk a bit about this, this government shutdown thing. All the prepper channels are right about one thing. You should prepare for any disaster. Whether it's a partial shutdown, a complete shutdown, whether it's electrical goes out, whether it's a flood, whether it's an earthquake, whether it's a tornado that knocks out electrical and you have to survive through it until everything gets fixed. Like that hurricane that went through Florida late last year. <clears throat> you should have a fucking plan for everything. Every individual needs to have their own plan instead of waiting until the disaster hits and you're suddenly sitting there wondering about feeding your daughters and sons. Let, let this shutdown be a lesson to those of you who are working those jobs. You need to have a plan. Because all the, the churches and shit giving you food, that takes food away from me. And I'm sitting here on disability and food stamps wondering... Uh, is, is my shit gonna get fucking taken away from me? Am I gonna have to turn to being a fucking criminal? <clears throat> Am I gonna have to steal food just to fucking exist? For those of you who can prepare, you should have fucking prepared for this shit. You should have seen the fucking warning signs instead of living in your normalcy bias. As for me, I can't fucking get a job. I put in applications because of this bullshit situation I'm in, I'm completely fucked. I don't get enough money in food stamps to prepare. I don't get enough money in disability to prepare. Hell, I started YouTube to try and earn some fucking money to take care of myself and my family. Because, you know, I helped make some fucking dumbass bills and I wanted to help pay them back. I mean, if that's not proof enough that I'm a decent person, then fuck you.
I did what I could to try and prepare. Then YouTube deleted my last channel. So now I'm down to this one. Well, now I'm back with this one. <clears throat> Still trying to make effort. Still asking people to throw money at me so I can do more stuff as well as prepare. <clears throat> I mean, you'll think, oh yeah, you don't need to prepare. Then nothing's going to happen, but hey. Obama shut down the government for a few days. Trump shut it down for the longest in history so far. And it's still fucking going. I was there in Oklahoma talking with someone who was on furlough, unpaid work, in the fucking military. And she was pissed. Mad as fucking hell. You know what? I don't fucking blame you for being pissed off, but you should have fucking prepared. You should always have a fucking contingency. You shouldn't rely on someone else to do shit for you. <clears throat> Unlike myself, I have no fucking choice but to rely on you, the viewer, to help me. To have no fucking choice. I could have prepared. I really do. I wish I could have stockpiled food and water and barterable currencies. Yeah, currencies. That way, I could just focus my attention right now on on doing you know stuff for you guys to enjoy to watch me do in YouTube. Right now, I'm stuck in this bullshit situation. How much longer before people like Mark, Jack, and Pewds get stuck in a situation like this? <clears throat> right now, they can prepare. They've got all of your support. They've got you viewing and They've got ad revenue. They've they've got a, a good bit stored up, hopefully. <clears throat> well, in country, at least Mark. How much longer until he meets this situation? How much longer until this government shutdown? tears enough government employees out of their jobs and they just say fuck it I'm tired of this shit I'm not getting paid I fucking quit you know fuck you Trump I, I just can't work without food and right now no money no fucking food I can't take care of my family fuck you I'm out how much longer until that happens how much longer until a complete fucking collapse of the economy of sociology you know, you take one brick out of this wall here, this wall of stupidity that everyone's standing on top of, how much longer until the whole fucking thing comes down? It's the whole Humpty Dumpty trip. This, uh, this oh so precious wall of ignorance and naivety that everyone's standing on, how much longer until it comes crashing down? Once you fall off of it, and you've got no backup plan. What the fuck, you know? <clears throat> so, you know, those of you who can afford to give some help, I'm not asking for millions of dollars. I'm not asking for it. I'm just asking for a little bit to make it through this bullshit. You know, a few thousand, <laughs> because I need to. I need to take care of my food, my water. I need to take care of my, my fucking bills. <clears throat> Shit that uh, 
apparently my insurance didn't even want to take care of because of this government shutdown and I got a fucking bill for something I never should have got a fucking bill for. Something that, what was it, Medicare or Medicaid was supposed to take care of. And they dropped it and said, fuck it, and I got a goddamn bill that I'm not supposed to have. Here it fucking is, right here. A nearly five hundred, four hundred and ninety-eight dollar thirty-one cent bill. I'm not even supposed to pay. My Medicaid or Medicare was supposed to pay that. Was supposed to take care of it. Because of the shutdown, they said, "Fuck it. We'll just send. It, we'll just let him to pay the fucking bill." So it's people like me who get hurt the most during this bullshit shutdown situation. <clears throat> unfucking real, you know? Just unfucking real. This kind of bullshit is not supposed to happen. Now I could point fingers and name names and name organizations and members of organizations, but there's no fucking point in it. It's not going to help me a single fucking bit. You, the viewer, you can help me. It's like, I've been asking you guys to, you know, support the channel and me. Now, I've got no choice but to basically beg for your help. Beggars can be choosers, you know can choose who to beg, what to beg for, when to beg, and how to beg. So if you think beggars can't be choosers, fuck you, you're a fucking idiot. Get out of your normalcy bias. <clears throat> Ooh, that reminds me. I was watching a one prepper channel. He said, am I my brother's keeper? Am I obligated to help those who didn't prepare? Well, those who chose not to, who had the means, fuck no. They've made their own choice. People like me, who have no fucking choice, who are, who are in the shittiest situations, You can help simply by watching the video, <laughs> selecting one of the playlists. Hell, if, if you don't fucking like it that much, just let it play on silent while you do other shit. I don't fucking care. <clears throat> At this point, that's where we are. That's the measures that I'm asking you to go and do. I have to get up to so many subscribers and so much watch time in order to get monetization enabled. And then I can start to take care of myself once I have that. YouTube is literally the only job that I can legally do. I know because I've put in applications at other jobs. They wouldn't take me at the Salvation Army, not even for volunteer. They didn't even call me and let me know what the fuck was going on. They just note voted right the fuck out of that. YouTube is literally, I'm not shitting you, I shit you not. I'm not lying to you or making this shit up. YouTube is the only legitimate fucking job that I can do legally. Literally. That's the only fucking thing I can do. <clears throat> it 
So like or dislike. Punch up a comment. Subscribe. Hit the, the bell thingy for notifications. If you don't want the algorithm choosing shit for you, just select a, a playlist I've got and just, if you don't really want to watch it, then you want to support. If you want to help but you don't really like watching what I do, then just let it play on silent. Just mute the freaking uh, thingy and let it go. You don't even have to watch it. You can go do other shit. I don't care. <clears throat> it's that fucking simple, everybody. <sighs> and if you can afford to help monetarily with money, then there's there's links in the description. There's PayPal, Patreon, and GoFundMe. Pick whichever one you like. And leave me a comment letting me know that you did so. Because uh, that those places just don't send me emails. I, mean, I haven't got any emails letting me know that anybody's doing anything. So I'm, I'm assuming that they're just not going to send me emails at all. Patreon for continuous support. PayPal for one-time support. It, it's easy. You just pick one and go with it. It's that fucking simple. <clears throat> and not just for me. And for me to do more stuff on the channel for you to enjoy watching. But to help my family. My family's in a fucked up situation too. stepdads they're trying to force him out of his job and take only ten thousand dollars as a retirement instead of a pension or a plan or anything my mom doesn't have a job my sister's not getting a job she's just I don't know what she's doing I haven't even asked <clears throat> It's pretty fucking pathetic when your younger sister has to get a job to support the family. It's really fucking pathetic. Right now, at this immediate time, I just need a boost to outlast this government shutdown nonsense and then later I need for everybody to to do the whole liking commenting subscribing like or dislike either one pick one <clears throat> later on need everybody to subscribe and everything so I can get ad revenue going. But if you don't want that, then enough like 10,000 supporters on Patreon. That way I don't even have to bother with ad revenue. But, you know, I'm going to anyway because I need a contingency plan. <clears throat> what if no one wants to support? Well, I have to rely on ad revenue. Well, what if I don't get ad, re ad revenue? Well, I have to rely on PayPal and Patreon and GoFundMe. I've got no choice. I literally have no choice. Metaphorically, my hands are tied. So, well, what am I left with? You tell me. And the situation is fucked up. Or as they say in the military, it's FUBAR. Fucked up beyond all relief. There's, you know, sometimes I say fucked up beyond all reality because this is completely unreal. Till next time, everybody. Bye.